Vitamin B6 is necessary to over 100 enzymes involved in protein metabolism, and it's essential for the development and health of your brain and your nervous system. But there's something you have to know. B6 can be found in two different forms. One form is an active form that's safe for the nerves even when taken in extremely high doses, while the other form can be quite hazardous to the health of the peripheral nerves when used long term. Make sure you stay with me to find out which form of B6 you need to take and which form you need to steer clear from. Coming up! Hey gang, it's great to see you again. For those of you who might be watching for the first time, I'm Dr. Valerie Montero, leading expert in peripheral neuropathy, and more importantly, how to overcome it. My mission is to empower every peripheral neuropathy sufferer with the necessary information to successfully recover and start living again. So, if this is your first time on my channel, you're in for some exciting information that you've probably never heard before. So click on that subscribe button and also on the bell so that you get notified as soon as I publish new content. Today, I'm going to talk about a certain B vitamin that is the most feared and misunderstood by both doctors and patients, and that's vitamin B6. I've had so many people reach out to me from Facebook and YouTube and tell me that they don't want to take B6 because their doctor told them that it damages peripheral nerves and they should stay away from it. Well, this is a very generalized statement used by a doctor that means well, but truly doesn't understand the nature of vitamin B6. So let's start by explaining why this vitamin is important to begin with. Vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxine, is a water-soluble vitamin that plays a key role in hundreds of chemical reactions in your body. For instance, it's significant to protein, fat, and carbohydrate metabolism. It's also necessary for the creation of red blood cells and neurotransmitters, especially serotonin and dopamine. B6 is indispensable for processes like brain development, maintaining peripheral nerve health, oxygen transport in your bloodstream, and healthy immune system function. Now, you may not have known this, but your body can't make B6 on its own. You have to get it either from your diet, that's if you're eating a healthy diet, because like the standard American, most diets will fall dreadfully short of fulfilling your requirements. Or, if this happens, then you have to take a supplement containing B6. Like many of the other B vitamins, you can find a B6 supplement in two different forms. One form is called pyridoxine hydrochloride, or pyridoxine HCL for short. The other form is pyridoxal 5-phosphate, or P5P. Now, this is where the confusion sets in for the average doctor. Most doctors don't realize that there are two different forms. And even for the ones that do, they think they're the same and they're both dangerous. So let me enlighten you. The most frequently used form of vitamin B6 in supplements is pyridoxine HCL. This form is synthetic, meaning it's produced in a lab, not extracted from food, and it's used because it's very cheap and has a very long shelf life. Now, to be fair, Although this form is artificial, it can be effective for some individual. But there's one small problem with using pyridoxine HCL. In order for it to become active and to be used by the cells, especially nerve cells, it has to be converted in the liver to pyridoxal 5-phosphate, or P5P, which requires a mineral called zinc. However, the World Health Organization estimates that 31% of children and adults are deficient in this precious mineral. And if that weren't bad enough, 40% of seniors are deficient. Now, these are conservative estimates, meaning the numbers are probably much higher for zinc deficiencies than what I've just indicated. So if you're lacking zinc, the conversion from pyridoxine HCL to P5P 
can't take place. This means the B6 supplement made from pyridoxine HCL that you just swallowed can't be used by your body, so it'll simply be eliminated through your urine. As problematic as this is, here's where it gets even dicier. When pyridoxine HCL B6 is taken either in high doses or used long term, it can become toxic to peripheral nerves and cause damage. As a matter of fact, research has shown that if you take 100 milligrams daily for two years or longer, most likely you'll either cause or worsen peripheral nerve damage. This is why doctors are telling their patients to stay away from B6. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, Paradoxing HCL can actually interfere with certain medications for high blood pressure, rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, Parkinson's, anti-seizure meds, medications for COPD, and also with NSAIDs. Now, it's important to know that taking a B6 supplement is critical, especially for peripheral neuropathy sufferers. And this is because 20 to 25% of the population is deficient in vitamin B6, while 50% of seniors are deficient. Once upon a time, B6 deficiencies were almost unheard of because it's actually quite easy to get this vitamin in a healthy diet. But the reality is, so few Americans eat healthy. Because of this, it's become absolutely necessary to use a supplement to maintain sufficient B6 levels. I'll go into what causes B6 deficiencies a little later in this video. But for right now, don't despair, because the other form of B6, pyridoxal 5-phosphate, or P5P for short, is extremely safe, even when taken in high doses and long term. So let's take a look at the advantages of taking this form. First. P5P is the active form of B6, meaning there's no conversion necessary by the liver and it can be immediately absorbed by any cell in the body, including nerve cells. More importantly, it does not interfere with any medications. And as I stated before, it can be tolerated in extremely high doses. So the question you should be asking is, how, lar how large of a dose can someone take? Well, I'm so glad that you asked this question. Numerous research studies have proven that a person can take up to 7,000 milligrams daily without any neurological damage. That's 7,000 milligrams. Now, let me say, say this. No one needs to take anywhere near close to this amount. But what's amazing is that in all of the clinical studies done on P5P, not a single person experienced any side effects even with these super large doses. Now that's incredible. Well, let's talk about the benefits of taking P5P. We already mentioned that it's easily absorbed and used by nerve cells. Well, really any cell in the body, but in this case, it's extremely important for neuropathy sufferers. But there are even more advantages. For instance, clinical studies show that it diminishes neuropathic symptoms like burning, pins and needles, or tingling sensations. It reduces inflammation. It maintains healthy nerve function. And it improves nerve conduction velocity, or the speed of the signals traveling down your nerves. This is important because if the transmission is slow, you'll get a lot of static or interference, which will result in horrible neuropathy symptoms. B6 also promotes brain health. And it reduces the risk of Alzheimer's. It reduces the risk of heart disease and clogged arteries as well. And, and it can make your immune system stronger. B6 can promote a better mood because it elevates your serotonin levels. In fact, some studies have shown that not having enough vitamin B6 in your diet can contribute to depression and anxiety. And lastly, it helps your body make more melatonin, which is important in helping regulate your internal sleep clock. Now, it's extremely as important for us to look at the causes of B6 deficiency because you may go to a doctor that isn't very knowledgeable who will tell you, this is the United States and B6 deficiencies don't happen here because there's plenty of it found in food. Although this once was true about 50 years ago, it no longer is and here's why. The National Institutes of Health revealed that these chronic illnesses can cause a B6 deficiency. Kidney disease rheumatoid arthritis, 
thyroid diseases like hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's, and Graves' disease. Other autoimmune disorders like lupus and celiac disease. Gluten sensitivity can also lead to a B6 deficiency, as well as irritable bowel syndrome or inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. Still, other illnesses that can lead to this deficiency are fatty liver disease, liver cirrhosis, cancer, ulcers, anorexia or bulimia, and systemic inflammation. Now, Besides these illnesses, there are still many other things that can result in a B6 defi deficiency, such as medications like prednisone or methylprednisone, certain blood pressure medications like lisinopril, also neuropathy meds like gabapentin, Lyrica, Tegretol, and Topamax. Still other meds that deplete B6 are diuretics, all anticonvulsants and anti-seizure medications, and oral contraceptives. There are also surgical procedures that will result in a B6 deficiency due to malnutrition or malabsorption issues, and those are bariatric surgeries for weight loss, small bowel resection, and lastly, a regular consumption of the following will also deplete vitamin B6 from the body. Coffee or other caffeinated beverages. I know, don't start crying yet. Alcohol, soda, and processed foods containing white sugar and white flour. So you can clearly see how a person that's consuming the standard American diet made up of tons of processed food, caffeine, and alcohol can easily develop this deficiency. Now, if you wanna make sure you're eating enough of this vitamin, you need to include these foods on a regular basis into your diet. Fish, especially salmon, eggs, organ meats like liver, organic grass-fed and grass-finished beef, carrots, spinach, sweet potatoes, green peas, bananas, chickpeas, and avocados. Although dairy products and breakfast cereals are fortified with vitamin B6, I didn't include them in the list because the form used in these foods is pyridoxine HCL, which then gets destroyed during pasteurization and other processing methods. One last thing. If you suffer from peripheral neuropathy, you'll need to take a supplement in the form of pyridoxal 5-phosphate because you won't be able to eat the quantity of food necessary to replenish your stores of B6 or to repair your damaged nerves. Well, now you know you never have to be fearful of taking a B6 supplement ever again. Just remember, when looking for an overall vitamin B supplement or a nerve support formula or even a standalone B6 vitamin, Always read the supplement facts panel, also known as the ingredient label. You only want to purchase supplements that contain B6 in the form of pyridoxal 5-phosphate. This is the safest form with the highest absorption rate. It will never cause harm to your nerves and it won't interfere with any of your medications. Well, that's it for now, gang. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this information and want more like it, be sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like us because it really helps us grow our channel. Also, please share this information with anyone you know who's suffering with peripheral neuropathy so they're not in this battle alone. Until next time, my friends, I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Blessings. And I'm doing the pause before I dive back in so that he can do like the fire with the explosion. Yeah. B6 can be found in two different forms. I forgot my cue. One form is an active form that's safe for the nervous system, even when taking an, an, an extreme. <laughs>